that really touched me was when we did the first interview on the news with the Wednesday child, Wavy 10. And I think he was like, what you want to be when you grow up or something like that? She was like, I just want to be like Tiffany. And I looked at her like, well, you want to be like me? I got a lot that I need to change. You want to be like me. So that very moment is when I had to like change, you know, try to be a better person. Oh, like with my sister, I didn't, I wasn't really around her for a lot of time. And with Tiffany, every time we get around, we got so many things in common. We both like to laugh and we both like to, we both like to help people. Just helping people and giving back is basically my motto. But at the same time, I try to bring her along to show you know the difference that's out here, the diversity. Because I know before I left, Mary was telling me that her grades went up. Um, she was doing what she like, she used to be, I guess, like nervous in front of people or something. And then she was more outgoing when me and her got together. Um, well, having Miracle as my mentee, it changed my life. It just teaches me more patience, more responsibility, because it's like having a little sister. Yeah, I feel a part. I feel like I'm a part of Tiffany's family all the time. The best part of us is growing together and learning who we are as defining ourselves in this life, this journey of life. It's, it's an amazing thing because you're sitting there and you get to watch somebody grow. That's just like so beautiful, especially when they come like so perfect, not perfect, but you know the person <laughs> they are. <laughs> I love it. And I tell Mary all the time, I love it. When we kind of learned how much effort it was going to take for us to have a birth child, we decided, you know what, we're not going to bother with that. It's too stressful. We'd rather just, you know, help a child or children that are already out there looking for a family. We called the Up Center. The day we called, there was an orientation that night, so we just quickly, we joined that class right away. We always kind of knew we would do it, we just didn't really know when. Last year, we actually um, purchased some property, woods basically, 40 acres of woods in Idaho. But it's awesome because Dawson's favorite um, thing in the world is animals and dirt. And that's exactly what's there. So there's big animals, there's little animals. He's always on an adventure. He loves trees, which we have probably thousands of them on the property. <laughs> So that is our new family tradition is going there every July. There's a lot of unknowns when it comes to foster care. So it's just interesting seeing the difference between the support that you get from the Up Center versus just being confused basically as to what is expected of you <laughs> at some points. But it's, it's been an amazing journey, it definitely has. And the Up Center has been a huge cause for that. When Dawson and Liam came into our lives a little over three years ago, um, everything has just been so brand new because everything is about really seeing it through their eyes, seeing it, things for the first time again, which has been really, really incredible. Um, and just kind of slowing down in general to live. Part of the um, fatherhood program, I taught me how to interact with my kids on a better level. Um, quality time changed a lot. You know, I'm excited to go home and go with things that we might have talked about inside the up center, discuss with my kids, just get their point of views on certain things. And I just, I just like love being around my family more. There's a lot of good things that go in at home. At home, and everybody on the same page, and we all get a, get along better. And it just taught me how to like, you know, nothing is perfect, but I can react to certain situations better now. I know how to cool down and walk away and, and, and listen more and instead of just voicing my opinion, thinking I'm right all the time. Uh, our supervisor makes the job very exciting. She makes it make you excited to come to work every day. She makes it seem more like a family versus I got to get up and go do this again. And she make you want to be here. And before the ups and uh, my life was kind of up and down. It's like you know nothing really to look forward to besides like my kids. But other than that, I was kind of like in the streets. So, like I told you, I just came home. It's taught me it's another side of life. It's some positive things. And you just gotta go try to go and do something to achieve those things. Going through the fatherhood program at the Up Center has taught me how to be a better parent, a better family man, like how to interact with my kids on, on, on a level that we both can understand and have some understanding. It taught me how to build like a friendship with my kids as well as being a father. You gotta be able to interact with your kids and hear them out. You, you know, you definitely don't want your girls running around feeling uncomfortable. But the upson taught me how to be there for her and comfort her during these times and she know that daddy got her. I like it here. And what is that you like? The people. I like the new people. This fellow will be 
the three summer I have every year. <laughs> I enjoy working with you too, Eric. I've learned I've learned a lot actually just by from working with with you as well. Yeah. You're one of my good friends. I consider you as a friend too. God, I'm getting teary out of Come on, God. <laughs> I've taken a liking to Kenny chasing country music, yeah. you know, um, wrestling. Um, you make me laugh. Yeah. You know, sometimes you can look at me and you'll start laughing. Then I'll, yeah. then I'll do what? Party jokes. So I'll start laughing. Let me tell Sorry. <laughs> I look at life a lot different. And I realize, you know, uh, how blessed I am to yeah. be in this situation. To work with you, you know, you're you're like a Florida. Yeah, actually, you really are. You're like a brother to me. Well, Florida. <laughs> Thank you for helping me out. Oh man. Okay. Oh, don't be camera shy. Okay. Oh. When I wake you up in the morning, what do you tell me? Thank you for being a what? <laughs> no. Friend. What do what you tell me? Tell them. What do you tell me? Thank Th you for being a what? Friend. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> and what do I say? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you tell me thank you for everything I do to you. And what did I tell you? You don't have to tell me thank you. Because I do it because I, I, it. I enjoy doing it. Yeah. Because I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. And you're here to help me as yeah. well. We help each other. Yeah.